In this video, we are going to focus on the second part of division of polynomials. You will find this on page 97 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 c's. Synthetic division. There is a faster method than long division for dividing a polynomial by a binomial. This method is called synthetic division. You can only use this method when di dividing by a linear expression and the leading coefficient, the first number, must be a 1. For example, you can use synthetic division to divide by x plus 1 or x minus 2. So that means the number in front, the coefficient must be a 1, but that index must also be a 1. But you cannot use synthetic division to divide by 5x minus 4, you see it's not a 1, or x squared um, um, plus 2. So otherwise there's a little bit an extra thing that you have to do and you're going to get confused. Then rather do long division there. But if there's a 1 and the coefficients are 1, and the index is a 1, then do this method. Okay, so divide this by this using synthetic division. Now, the first thing that we do is we just write the coefficients down, write only the coefficients of the dividend. So there's a 1, there's a negative 9, negative 10. Always remember to grab the sign in front of it. In this one, you do it like this. It's almost, it's x plus 1, so basically you're going to say x, take, make it almost like an equal sign, take it over negative 1, and that you're going to write there. Okay, now bring down the first number. So that first number, just bring it down, that's all. Then multiply the side number by the bottom number, meaning multiply this by this, okay? and write the answer below the second coefficient. So basically I'm just going to multiply and just write it down. And then I'm just going to do normal addition and subtraction. So negative 9, negative 1, so it's just going to be, keep, uh, if the signs are the same, keep the signs at the numbers. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to write, so multiply the side number by the second number. So you're just going to say negative 1 times negative 10. So every time I multiply and I write the answer there and it's 10. And if I subtract that, I get 0. Do you see? I get a 0 there. And then I basically just going to write it like this. So add the numbers in the third column and write the total below the line in the block. There's the 0. The number is the remainder. The other numbers across the bottom are the coefficients of the quotient starting with a term which is one order less than the highest order. So if the highest order was x to the power 2 in the dividend, you're just going to have x, so put an x there, and then minus 10. So it's going to actually be just x minus 10 with a remainder of 0. Okay, I'm going to help you with the first one. So again, it's very good that you maybe do it on long, and then try to check, check it with a shorter method. But let's start with the first one, and I even don't want you to stop the video. I first want to show you this one, and then I'll let you stop the video and try another one. Okay, so it's always almost like a block that you are making, and I'm going to just do number A. So on top there, there's almost like you want two rows. You're just going to put eight, do you see? And you're going to put 10, can put the positive also and negative 12. And because it's x plus 2, make it equal to 0. If you make it equal to 0, it's just struggling to write here, equal 0, take it over, it's going to be negative 2. And then don't forget, the first one, just bring it down, make an arrow there, 8. And then it's always multiply like this. So if you multiply negative 2 times 8, you get negative 16. And then you just simplify. So 10 minus 16, that will be negative 6. And then you multiply again, and that will be positive 12. And the last one is always your remainder. 
So in this case, the remainder will be zero. And if this was x to the power two, then it's one, x, one index less, so it's x to the power one minus six, and this is then my quotient, eight x minus six. And, and, I, and just for just for and just for this one, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to do it with um, long division, also. Okay, let's just let's just do it on both ways. So this was eight x squared plus ten x minus twelve, and this was x plus two. And if you did it on long division, I divide and I will get eight x, and I multiply and I get eight x squared plus 16x and I subtract and I get minus minus and I this cancel and this is going to be negative 6x and I divide and what do I get I get negative 6 and then no, it's 12 so it's negative 6x um, minus 12 and if I change the signs, this is positive, positive, nothing, nothing. And can you see that this is exactly the same as this? Okay, this one is very shorter. And if you see you have a, always, if you see you have a one and a one there, then do the short method. Okay, now you can stop the video and I want you to try number C. Okay, as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Um, let's make two because it's so short. Make C and D. Okay, let's start. So in this case, it's one, one. So um, always remember, okay, I think I'm going to write it first down. Let's just to see. So it was 3B squared minus 13B minus 10. And it's going to be B minus 5. Okay, so if I'm doing it like this, so remember only the coefficients, so there's the coefficients. So write it in as 3 minus 13 minus 10. Put it equals 0, then B, it goes over and it becomes positive 5. Remember the first one, always bring down. So if you bring this down, you're going to get 3. And if you're going to say, 5 times 3, that's going to be 15. If you simplify this, it's going to be 2. 5 times 2, that's going to be 10. If you simplify this, it's 0, and that's always your remainder. Then 1x, one, uh, 1 index less, so this is going to be b. If there's no sign, it's positive, and there's your quotient. Okay, so that is easy. And then if I look at the next one, um, that was number c. Um, so if I look at number D, so this was P squared plus 7P plus 12, and it's P plus 3. And again, um, if I look at the coefficients, so it's 1, 7, 12. So it is 1, 7, 12. And if you put it equal, take over, negative 3. If you bring it down, it's 1. If you multiply, negative 3. If you simplify, 4. If you multiply, negative 12. This, 0. 1, so it's going to be P plus, and there is going to be your quotient. Okay. So, and then let's, let's do a final. Let's do a final. A one with a missing term. So if you look at this one, you see it's going to be x3. There's not an x to the power 2. There's not an x. So always, and this is a very good one, if you do 1, just put zeros in that position. Okay. And then you do it exactly the same. Bring it down. Okay. Multiply. Simplify. Multiply. Simplify. Multiply. Simplify. And you get, oh, and in this case, as soon as the last one is always the remainder. So it's one exponent, so this is x to the power 2, so you will start with x to the power 2 minus 2x plus 4 with a remainder of negative 3. Okay, let's do one. Oh, 
I think in this case I want you to do two. Yes, it's not really, it's very fast. Um, now that one is having all, I want to do a missing one. There's a missing one, I can see, and there's a do number B and D. Okay, let's start, number B. So in number B it was 2x3 minus 5x minus 7 over x minus 2. Okay, so again, we're going to make our block. Now, I want to show you here, there's not, make it, it's actually 2x3 plus 0x2 minus 5x minus 7. So if you look at the coefficients, it's going to be 2, 0, negative 5, negative 7. So it's going to be 2, 0, negative 5, negative 7. And this, if it, if it equals 0, take so it's going to be 2. If you bring this one down, it's going to be 2. And if you multiply, 4. If you simplify, 4. If you multiply, 8. If you simplify, 3. If you multiply, 6. If you simplify, negative 1. And don't forget that that one will always be your remainder. Okay. So if I look at this one, it's going to be, um, and then 1, so this is x3, so this will be x2. Ooh, 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 it's not nice writing. x2 is a positive, and this is going to be x, and this is a positive. So it's going to be 2, this is the quotient, plus 4x, plus 3, with a remainder of negative 1. Okay, the final one, the final one, it's going to be 5, and I think I'm going to roll it right on top. Struggle this with the pen there. Okay, so number D, it's going to be 5y3 minus 3y squared minus 6 over y minus 1. Okay, so if I look at this one, it's actually saying there's also a missing one. Can you see? So it's 5y3 minus 3y squared plus 0y minus 6. So if you do it like this, let's look at the coefficients. 5, negative 3, 0, negative 6. So it's going to be 5, negative 3, 0, negative 6. And if you're going to look at uh, y minus 1, so if you put it equal 0, take, so it's going to be 1. So in this case, I bring it down, and it's going to be 5. I multiply 5. I simplify 2. I multiply 2. 2. I multiply, and I'm going to 1 times 2. It's just going, oh, it stays 2. Okay. So if I look at this one, and I simplify, I get negative 4. And 1 less, so it's going to be y squared, y plus 2. So the question is going to be 5y squared plus 2y plus 2 with a remainder of negative 4. But please remember, do this method if you look at the divisor and you see a 1 there, and a one in the index, then it's an easy method to follow.